Hey guys, this is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a review for Green Arrow issue 20. But before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a little update. I have two reviews on Dark Vendor Inc. that I usually do on Comic Uno, which are Action Comics issue 20 and Earth 2 issue 12. And uh, another thing I actually want to mention, I feel like I never mentioned on my videos, is that we do have a live show on um, Tuesdays at 9 o'clock on Dark Avenger, uh, Dark Avenger CA6's channel, Chris's channel, one of my good friends' uh, channel. We always have a live show with the Dark Avenger and crew, and I feel like I never mentioned that on a video, so go check that out. Um, we actually have our previous one on Dark Avenger Inc. because we couldn't do it on Chris's channel uh, last week. So uh, go check that out. If you Tell me in the comments below if you heard about the live show. If you haven't, tell me what you want to see with it. Um, but it's really fun. We, you know, joke around, talk about comics, talk about movies, TV. It's awesome. So definitely go check that out. Uh, but let's talk about Green Arrow, issue 20. Um, I like the cover for this. Um, we get to see Komodo. He's been the big villain since uh, Lemire started with Green Arrow in issue 18, I think it was. Great art. I love the grittiness of this um, Green Arrow art. And um, I've been saying the only problem I really have with Green Arrow is that it doesn't have that... The goodness that it used to have before the New 52 because it used to be about the Green Arrow family. I feel like we're still missing that. But I think Lemire is trying to grow that um, grow that story and um, trying to build a family and try to build a, a new series though with the New 52. And I do like that he's doing. But he also has to correct the stuff that happened 18 issues earlier. I think that's what he's trying to do with Green Arrow. And it's going to take a little while but I think he will make a Green Arrow universe a little. And I'm, I'm hoping he does that. And that's something I'm, I'm excited to see. But uh, yeah, that's why I've been excited expecting with Green Arrow and what I like about Lemire series but I don't love about Lemire series because I know people are in love with the series but for me I'm just kind of liking it because I'm a humongous Green Arrow fan. I kind of like the pre-New pre 52 Green Arrow better but this is much better than what the Green Arrow was in the beginning of the New 52. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about the issue. Let's see if I liked it. Um, so in this issue we get to see the grand battle with Komodo and Green Arrow and Green, Ar Green Arrow shows, hey, I could beat you. He actually stabs him in the eye in this issue and he saves um, his friend um, who was before New 52, that was part of Naomi. Um, he saves his friend and they're starting their group again but Green Arrow says, I have one more thing to do. I know Komodo's behind my father's death. I want to know exactly. So he's going to find out what it has to do with his father's death but then he gets trapped on a desert because someone kidnaps him. It has to do with uh, this guy with two X's on his um, face. So obviously these these villains capture him. He's stuck in on uh, this desert island, which is kind of like an island. And that's what we see him in the beginning of this issue and what we've been seeing him, I think, since issue 18, we've been seeing him on a, on a desert. So um, I thought this issue was pretty solid. I enjoyed it. I, I'm glad the Komodo uh, story has ended, the first story arc has ended, and it was interesting. And I like how it does remind me of Arrow a lot, the TV show. And... Um, I think we get that a lot. I think with the island, mentioning of the father, um, something that we don't really get mentioned before the New 52, um, we just know that they died, um, the mother and the father. But uh, I'm glad that they're mentioning that now, and I think they're trying to allude more to the Arrow TV show. And, um, and Arrow TV show, I have a shirt of it too. But uh, I think they're trying to allude more to that, and I like that they're connecting it, but obviously not making them the same. And having like Felicity pop up, or Laurel, you know, I'm glad they're not doing that. But I'm glad they're making some sort of connection, because maybe a lot of people will be picking this up because they like the TV show. So I do like that. Um, I like this this uh, story arc. Um, I didn't love it, but I liked it. Um, I like Komodo. I like how the daughter is like crazy. It's like, yes, daddy, go kill people. So I like kind of her um, her outlook and things. I think that's crazy. Um, I'm starting to like that. The Q core, I think it's called. Um, I like them a little. I'm, I'm hoping I like them even more. I think they could become likable characters. It seems like... Um, Oliver is very close to uh, Lisa, uh, Naomi, so I'm glad that she they're kind of making an um, Arrow family, which I think is always a part of, important with Green Arrow. But uh, it's interesting. I do like it. I like the grittiness of it. It's it's a less fun series, but I kind of like that approach to Green Arrow. I think Green Arrow has always been like a not a silly character, but a comedic character. So it's kind of cool to see a new approach with this character. And um, yeah, so I did like the story arc. And uh, I'm obviously going to keep following it. I just don't love the series yet. I'm sure with story arcs to come, I will start loving it again, hopefully. But uh, it's a pretty solid ending and um, a good continuation for a new story arc. So I'm going to give this four stars. Though it's really solid. Art is great for the series. Love the art. Um, and I think uh, definitely pick this up if you haven't been picking up. And um, because Lemire is doing a much better job than 
what the other writers were doing beforehand. So pick this up, definitely pick it up. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the right situations. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.